Hello friends! I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today is a fun day because today is our foster care renewal visit. Yay. I have this and I'm gonna change the battery in the smoke detector. So today, guys, is a renewal day for our foster care license. If you don't know us, we have been foster parents since the beginning of time. It's only been, is this our seventh year or our eighth year? This is gonna be our eighth year. We're gonna go on eight. So we're super excited about it. Um, as you guys know, we're adopting from China. We just had a foster baby, so we're kind of in transition. I'm not even sure specifically what to tell her about what kind of placement we can take right now. Obviously, we will just prefer to do respite right now, which is respite is just like giving other foster parents a break, um, and so we'll help them with things. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see in the meeting how things go. Um, but right now, I'm gonna take you guys on a little journey. I have to fix the medicine cabinet, which is not a cabinet, it's just a safe. Um, in foster care, all of your medicine must be in a locked, container a medicine cabinet or like a safe is what we did um, and a lot of the medicine in there is like expired because um, we don't use medicine very often and then all the medicine we used this whole summer has been stored in the cupboard so <laughs> we've been keeping it like this hasn't been very chill but luckily we just had a home study last april for our china adoption so i don't have to go around and do a lot of things all i know is that 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 was dead and I shoved the battery out of it because it was making a chirpy noise like four months ago and like I never replaced it. So we do have smoke detectors upstairs in the kids' room and those are all rocking and ready to go. So let me take you along on this medicine journey, okay guys? A medicine journey. We'll get all the medicine out onto the counter first and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is a lot of medicine. <laughs> I didn't think I had this much. Um, to kind of go through it, most 90% of this stuff is vitamins. Um, so, and also these right here, this Miralax, my daughter, she was having some issues with Peter Pants and they felt like it was constipation at the doctor. And so, get this guys, this is kind of crazy. They prescribed Miralax for the rest of her life. I did not accept that <laughs> diagnosis. This was like a year ago. No, it was like last spring. I didn't accept that diagnosis because Miralax, like you just should never be on a medicine for the rest of your life unless like you're missing an organ or something. Like that's just insane. But yeah, that's crazy. So I ended up getting her some gummies. Um, just to kind of regulate her for a while and then she was fine she stopped peeing her pants and so we took her off Miralax but now I have like gallons and gallons of Miralax that we never used and these are like full containers of Miralax so we'll see what happens they're probably gonna expire so did you guys know that medicine does expire so this one was 1019 so this one expires next month so I'm just probably gonna throw that one away because I know that no one in the house is gonna use it um and yeah so i'm just gonna clean up all this stuff it'll let you guys watch and then in this safe i have no idea what's in this safe so it's gonna be a mystery for all of us that's exciting okay so 
So let's find out what's in this little safe. Okay, yes, that is what I thought. Just a bunch of stuff, guys. Let me show you what's in there. A bunch of medicine. <laughs> so I am gonna go through all this right now and we're gonna speed up the camera so you can watch it quickly and I'll show you the end result here in just a second. stop right here um this right here is a medicine that chad got for his wisdom teeth and it's a hydrocortisone and so we are not hydrocodone codon anyways it's like a c2 a controlled substance so i am going to take this to the pharmacy and put that in the our like little bit at the pharmacy because i don't want anyone finding that especially as a foster parent that knows the dangers of op opioid addictions and how like it has ruined people's lives we are not gonna throw it in the garbage so we're gonna save that put it back in the safe that's the reason why we have these things locked up is so people aren't addicted so that one for sure i'm not gonna throw away um the other ones like vitamins and things i'm totally gonna just toss so because it's fine <laughs> and we'll take up the garbage right now it's gonna be okay so most of these are super expired so that's good I just found a medicine that gave me a little bit of an emotional experience so we have four children that we adopted from foster care and our one of our kids was on medicine because they so let's just be real here um he was suicidal when he was six and um this was before he moved in he was with a different foster placement and so they took him to the ER um, because he was suicidal. Crazy. That's what they decided to do. And he spent a whole week in the ER. Um, not the ER, but in the hospital um, getting better. And they prescribed him with a very, very, very powerful drug for the rest of his life as well. Um, and I'm like thankful for that. I'm thankful for medicines. I'm thankful for these things. Um, but this specific medicine um, was giving him like night terrors at night. And um, like he would be a different person during the day. And like, and then when he would come off of it, it would be like these anger spells. And also at night he would have night terrors. And if you have been, never been around a night terror, they are terrifying for the person on the other end as well. So, um, I am so happy to put this medicine into that bin because we took him off this medicine and he turned into a different kid and he's super healthy and whole and um, he's doing really well. And he actually started to deal with some of these emotions that he was dealing with. Um, not because he had, he was had trauma and so that was the reason why he had these issues. It wasn't like something that he was born with. So it wasn't something that was gonna be an issue for the rest of his life. Um, and you, as we took him off as a foster parents, we didn't do it during school because we didn't feel like that was fair to the teachers. We waited until summer and then we started, we weaned him off the medicine. Um, night terrors instantly went away. Yes, we had struggles, but I think we would have had struggles anyways. Um, and then by when school started, we were an amazing kid and um, we're still working through issues, but like it's nowhere near what it was back then. And so I'm so 
thankful that we don't have to be on those medicines anymore. Um, I know it's not everyone can do that, but I'm just thankful that that's not us anymore. So awesome, awesome. Medicine can tell a story, can't it guys? <laughs> Almost done here. Most of the stuff in this little box is expired because we're terrible and I couldn't find the key. And we don't really use that many medicines. Like 90% of these are literally just vitamins because we go on like health kicks and we're like, we're gonna have like, eat like 7,000 vitamins every day and then we stop, which is a waste of money. So that's making me feel really sad. <laughs> But I'm happy that it's like only this much we're gonna put it back in the safe. I was actually worried that this wasn't gonna fit in this little safe. We'd have to get something different, but it looks like we're gonna make it. So, almost done here. Oh man, okay, one more story about my kids, like, because of medical things. Um, one of our other children, when he came to live with us, um, every once in a while, if we were traveling a lot or if we, we're in weird spots. He would like weird spots like we were traveling like and he wasn't like used to it. He would end up breaking out in hives um, and his face would become like super puffy and like it was so scary and we had to give him like allergy medicines all the time. I remember having to take this with me everywhere because I was so afraid of him having an allergic reaction and praise God we don't have those issues anymore. The nurse actually called me yesterday and he was, she was like, does your child still get a puffy face when they're stressed and i was like um no actually it hasn't happened in like a year but let's just keep it in file just in case so you can call me and i can come and get him some medicine or something um no most of the time what he needs honestly when he has these these stressful breakouts is just to be laid in his bed and then he calms down and it like take a nap and it goes away it's amazing guys so, but this is expired from 2018. So it has been over a year, um, probably even longer. So praise God for that. Done, that's awesome. Also, my husband loves saving stuff like this and I just can't handle it, so I just throw it away. My nephew like broke our safe and he like pressed the buttons too many times and now it doesn't work only, it used to have like an electronic opener, so now it's just open basically with a key, so. <laughs> Which I don't care if he broke it, he's my nephew, I love him, so he can break it if he wants. I don't know what to do with this Miralax. Like, I wonder if someone needs it. So I might have to ask some friends from church if they need some Miralax because I don't want to waste it because we don't need it anymore. So we'll, we'll keep it in here just in case. I always hear like really bad things about some of this kind of stuff. Um, so it's hard to know what's true and not true. So how, how do we know like what we read on the internet if it's true or not true? That's Something as a mom that I get so confused about, it's like, there's like all these like decisions that we need to make as parents. And then like, they're all like fear-based and like, I just, I don't know. I, I have a hard time figuring out what's true and not true from things I read on the internet. Is anybody else like that? Or does everybody have their, their stuff together and it's just me? So anyways, I might have to take one of these out and give it to someone right away. So, Cause that's not going to fit. So you don't need that much Miralax in your life. And I'm gonna put these back in. Wait, I'm gonna go to work, but I don't want them out. So I'll pull them back out here in a little bit. So we can do that. So here's what we ended up with, guys. Let me show you. Whoop. Medicine. So awesome, right? So, yep, I'm gonna lock that up. And yeah, my husband's gonna come home right now and we're gonna get ready for this visit. I need to talk to him about what we're gonna do. So we've had so many different ideas and different things we wanna do with foster care. Um, obviously, this is the thing with China is um, we cannot have a placement when our Chinese child comes to live with us when he comes home. 
And I, I want to respect those rules. I want to do what's right because I don't want to jeopardize anybody else's adoption um, because we broke the rules. And these rules are set up by China and not the USA. And so we have to abide by that. And our home study says specifically that we have X amount of children and we need to keep keeping those parameters. So if we do respite for a while, that's awesome. But guys, I just want to make a difference and I want to make an impact, but I also want to be mentally prepared for this child to come home too. So we are pulled in a million different directions and like my heart says yes. And I'm already planning like after our Chinese son gets home and we cocoon for at least six months, I am planning on um, taking more foster kids in. So hopefully that sounds super exciting. Um, I think my husband's just here. So we, We'll talk about all that and make some decisions and I'll update you guys when we know, okay? All right, well, I hope you guys are having the best day ever and I hope you enjoyed um, going through our medicine and changing our smoke detector. Those are the two main things that we do um, to get ready for our renewal because most of the other stuff is already done. Um, I don't think there's much of other things. Some other things that they do. Hi, Chad. Hey. Hi, you wanna say hi? I don't. You don't want to? Necessarily. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. We are talking about um, our renewal yeah, and yeah. changing the smoke detector yeah. and I'm also our medicine. Yes, you're a super smart person. Um, the one other thing they do check is the water temperature in your house. Um, and this is just in South Dakota. So I, in my mind, like we're a little bit more like basic um, <laughs> when it comes to the things that we require it's like a little bit more simpler um i've heard of other people being way more strict than we are um but um, that's that's the that's the glory of living in a little community and he got more nine volt batteries so we are ready to rock so anyways i hope you guys are having the best day ever let me know if you guys have different things you need to do for your um home study or your renewal um in the comments below if you had troubles in the past getting renewals um let me know um yeah so if you want to make a difference please become a foster parent because we are kind of unable to accept any more placements at this point um so that's where we're at so anyways i love you guys i hope you guys are having the best day ever and i'll see you in the next video bye guys